Kennedy Donovan Center has an extraordinary continuum of care for children and adults with developmental disabilities. We also offer a full continuum of care for the foster care system. I am the great nephew of the founder of KDC, uh, Luella Hennessy Donovan. So Lou was the private family nurse for the Kennedy family, and when they had this idea about starting an organization that would help young people with developmental disabilities, it was the Kennedys that recommended that Lou go back to school and get her master's in education, which she did at 60. Beginning prenatally, we have a Healthy Families program, and that serves young parents under the ages of 20. Additionally, we have an early intervention program, and that's for children that may have a developmental delay or maybe somebody thinks that they might have a developmental delay, and we do a full assessment to determine whether or not they're eligible for services. I am an EI parent. My daughter was introduced to KDC when she was three months old. She spent a lot of time in the hospital, and the feeding was difficult because it was all feeding tube. The staff at KDC has been great. They do really good at interacting with her and using my concerns and helping her. If I didn't have KDC, I would have just been winging it. Our newest program is an ABA program. It's Applied Behavioral Analysis. That's an evidence-based program to serve kids with autism. Kennedy Donovan Center runs a special education school for kids that are in need of out-of-district placement. So if they're not able to stay in their home school district, they're able to come to Kennedy Donovan Center. We do two things in the school really, really well. We have those that are medically complex, and we're very astute at serving children that have medically complex needs, including private nursing. We also have a behaviorally based program. We do have this one school, and uh, it's amazing to come and see the children. And uh, what is really neat is I've seen kids that start here at a very young age and graduate out of this program and go on and be incredibly vibrant, involved in the community, go on to do amazing things with their lives. Many of the students in our school transition over to our Dayhab, which shares a building with the school. The Dayhabilitation program is really a lifelong learning program. So these are adults 22 and up with a developmental disability um, that are gaining new skills every day. They're out in the community all the time. They're doing cooking classes. It's an absolutely brilliant program for, um, to keep people engaged in their communities and to have social interaction with each other during the day. In our intensive foster care home, these are children that are placed into foster care. It's your traditional foster care, but a little bit elevated because we serve kids with mental health needs, behavioral health needs, and we're really astute at serving kids with medical needs as well. Mary, she was my foster kid. Um, after a couple of years, I adopted her. She's my daughter. Um, I came back, I wasn't not too happy with the school he was on, so I asked to Ben to be moved to KDC. Marie, she's happy. She comes home, uh, um, tell, tell me everything she did all day. I love them. I, I trust them. My married the same way. Mommy, I, I went to bowling, I went this. I help them. Very happy too. I love KDC because they're very nice to me. Julie came, she was very needy. She was 16 years old with no family except a brother who's mentally ill and she had no place to go. My foster mom is just amazing. I love her. I call her mom. It just kind of, we clicked. It just worked. So it's provided a lot of stability and consistency and she's helped me to grow up a lot in the right ways and at the right times. And for every stage she's been there and my guidance and so much advice. I don't think she would have gotten to her 21st birthday, to be perfectly honest with you. I really don't. I came from Egypt in 2014 and um, came here without parents. I was knocking around neighbors' doors and uh, eventually, cops came just for concern, and they brought me to KDC. And a couple of weeks later, my my foster parents. It, it changed about a lot. Only three years, but I did I think what most would do in 20 years. I'm thankful I called as soon as I did, because it really has helped her a lot. The best thing I did in my life. They're wonderful. They're the best. I'm a lot more confident and going out into the world now than I ever would be without having the guidance from KDC.
and I plan to become a foster parent myself. If you think about it, at 60 years old, you're always going to think, what am I thinking trying to start this organization? Can I succeed? What do I need to do? How do I help? The Kennedys never let her down. They helped in any way they did. And it's the reason we all believe in the organization today.